Yes, so I'm gonna go as far as saying this is a superfood. If you are about to run the comrades, first of all, good luck. I hope the training is up to scratch and that you are prepared. Lexi, welcome to it. You have come with Morning. some amazing little ingredients here. We are making a sports bar, something that yes. is gonna help our athletes, our super South African athletes get through the comrades marathon. What is going on here? I'm seeing a lot of healthy ingredients. Basically what I've done is taken all of my favorite superfoods and kind of all the things that I think will benefit the runners the most and we've put it all into a blender and I found a way to stick it all together into oh, well a kind done. of <laughs> easily transportable bar. Okay, so, where do we begin? First take me through the ingredients here. Okay. These are some very healthy Well we've got over elements. here some ground flax seeds and some whole flax seeds. Now you're going to ask me why I've ground yeah. up the flax seeds and we're putting in whole. Flax seeds are full of omega-3s and 6s. It's very good for inflammation. It's just a very good little seed. Um, but as you can see, they're very small. Well done, little seed. So if you eat this, it's just going to pass through your system and out it's the roughage, other side, yeah, which is sure. not, not great. <laughs> we grind them up so that it makes it easier for your body to actually digest all the goodness out of these seeds. Also release some so, of that oil as yeah, well. Yeah, it just yeah. makes the nutrients a bit easier to get to. Then we've got some great goji berries here. They're relatively new, goji berries. They've hit like the last three, four years. Goji berries a, are new to trend, us, yeah. but they've actually been around for years and a lot of the health nuts have been snacking on them for years and years. Um, it's Lots a really, really good superfood. Yeah. We've got some cool. chia seeds over here, which are going to form a nice gel in your stomach as you eat them. And this is going to slow down the release of carbs and sugars. Cool. And it's just going to make you feel good the whole way. Coconut oil as well. This is melted coconut oil. Usually it looks like kind Comes of a white, white butter. Yeah. We've got some macadamia nuts here for some good fats. Beautiful bowl of dates for our sugars. Some molden sea salt over here just for some salt and sugars in your body. Pumpkin seeds, raisins, and some ground cocoa nibs. Oh, brilliant. Okay, well, let's rock this. This is looking this more This recipe and more is incredibly now. easy. What we're going to do is just pour all of our ingredients into a blender. Nice, and you can make yourself a nice giant volume of these things, just package them nicely, have them there on race day, chow them throughout the day. Yeah, and you know, if you don't want to use this as a, as a bar, you're very welcome to just mix all these ingredients together and add two tablespoons to your muesli in the morning. Oh, there we go. Or a yogurt, put them into your smoothie. Mm some coconuts. All right, just to, as a, as a silver lining or an additional incentive to get through the comrades, we're giving away a wonderful Salati hamper this morning. You can SMS the keyword Salati to 33728 and we'll send you a whole little hamper of awesome Salati goodies so you can bake yourself some special treats for post-race day to get the carbs and the nutrients back into your body. Okay, we've got some muscovado, my favorite of the yes, Salati just sugars. Yes, sweeten it up a little bit. Mm, you can see here, well, I've yeah. left out some macadamia nuts. What I find is a lot of sports bars have all got a very kind of pasty, mushy They're texture. Too fine, yeah. And you know, Comrades is a very long race, and I think <laughs> that it wouldn't hurt to give you a little bit of texture. I want to chew on something. In amongst all of this kind of smooth. <laughs> what I'm going to do is just pulse this together. Cool. We're not trying to create a powder here. We want something but it's still gonna bond, yeah? Mm. I haven't put my coconut oil in yet because what I wanna do is just break all the ingredients down, then we'll put in the coconut oil to bring so. it together. And incidentally, the coconut oil has a very high smoking point. It's a great oil to cook with. It retains a lot of its healthy properties, even once you've started to heat it. Coconut oil is actually better to cook with than olive oil. A yeah. lot of people think, oh, olive oil's fantastic. Olive oil is best eaten cold. Cold, yeah, not um, once you heat, once you it, heat it, up, it up, it breaks down. It's not yeah. as good. So coconut oil is a fantastic ingredient. Oh. So we're just going to blend this until it starts to come together nicely. And then I'm just going to pack it into a brownie bar, um, a brownie tray. Right. Cool. So it's looking all nice and incorporated. Yeah, you've got a nice range of textures and size bits in there. Sorry, yeah. Side problem. Okay. There we go. We're going to wrap our bars with these leftover ones. Okay, so a little bit of wax paper in there yes. just to line our tray. I've just poured in our macadamia nuts. I'm going to take this blade out. Yeah, you handled the blade. <laughs> cool. Oh. Okay. Oh, so we just we pour the mixture into a brownie pan. Now, it's up to you which, what kind of pan you use. You can use a round pan, a square pan. Um, I like to use a little bit of a bigger pan just because it's, it makes the bars a bit thinner. Okay. And 
you know, you don't want to be carrying around a very <laughs> thick bar on comrades. In your little secret pocket yes. in your running shorts. Oh, that is awesome. So then it's easy to as set, that. do they just stay as is? Do you bake them for how long? How to does set, it make? just put it in the fridge for an hour. Cool. And then you're going to be left with a lovely These bar like this. Beautiful I've, things. I've just cut some squares. You're welcome to wrap them up in some um, normal greaseproof paper, put them in a Tupperware. Cool. If you are taking them on comrades, I suggest just putting them into a little Ziploc bag and you can yeah. tuck them into your shorts. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, well, that is really, really cool. It is incredibly simple to put this little sports gem together, but let's take a quick look at how we got to this beautiful end result. Let's take a look. Ooh, yum. Place two thirds of the nuts, chia seeds, ground and whole flax seeds, berries, cocoa nibs, coconut, pumpkin seed, raisins, dates, salt, oil and sugar into a processor and then blend until combined. Mix in the remaining nuts. Press mixture into a baking tin, then refrigerate for one hour. There, it couldn't be simpler. And once again, wishing you an incredibly successful outing if you are running the Comrades this year. Let us know if you've got any little tips or keys or superfoods that help you get through the big day. That keyword again is Salati, double three seven two eight. SMS the keyword Salati. We'll send you this ingredients list and you might just win yourself that Salati hamper. Thank you so much. Do you think you would ever run the Comrades? Hey. Personally, I'm a mountain girl. Oh, me yeah. too. Well, I'm not a mountain girl, okay? But I, I prefer a mountain, guys. But it is the weekend coming up, which means there are a ton of events to get through. And as always, we put you in the driver's seat. Let's see what's coming up in the next couple of days. All right. The sweetness lingers longer with Salati and Espresso.